All right, Chinmay, how about your favorite value play then? I do feel kind of bad about this because the Trailblazers are deserve some sympathy for from all of us based on uh, the way their season has gone. But you got to take some Pelicans bench guys. Jackson Hayes, Herb Jones are, are both uh, in that 5K range. Pelicans are probably going to blow the Blazers out here. And Hayes has been starting recently. He has a double-double in his last two games. And Jones is a nice all-around player for New Orleans as that team gears up for its playing game. So give me both those Pelicans guys uh, against the Blazers tonight. All right, Nick, talk to me. Yeah, I, I have Herb Jones on my list as well for the Pelicans. You know, someone that you know, he could score five points, but he's probably going to get you seven rebounds, a couple assists, might have four or five steals. Uh, I think he had six steals against the Lakers last week. Uh, and Portland certainly a team to target uh, in that regard. Uh, a few other names I'll throw out there. Trey Jones, I think still a pretty good value. No DeJounte Murray again, as he's still dealing with that non-COVID illness. So we should see Trey Jones start and play a bunch of minutes. Uh, Chris Dunn has reemerged out of nowhere uh, for the Portland Trail Blazers on the other side of that matchup against New Orleans. He's at 5,100. Played 30 minutes last game. Minutes have been ticking up the last few. He's, he's been racking up a ton of assists in that span. So, you know, again, I can't really believe that I'm recommending Chris Dunn, but the numbers have been there. Uh, and then Chubo Kiki, I always like because he has defensive potential. He's at 4,900. Good matchup against Charlotte. Uh, and Zach Collins from the Spurs, 4,500. He's very quietly played 25, 31, and 25 minutes over the last three games and still no Jock Landale for the Spurs. So maybe that leads to a little bit more uh, of a role for Zach Collins off the bench.